Amen. I hope the first few days of 2021 has started out well for you. Uh, I just want to share really quick about some things I've been thinking about in relation to like how our physical bodies uh, relate to our spiritual bodies and physical health and spiritual health kind of relate in some remarkable uh, ways. When you're doing physical fitness, a lot of times the focus can be on the front, right? Like what people see from the front. So your chest, your six pack abs, you want, you know, biceps big, curls for the girls. You know, that's kind of the focus many times when we go at fitness because that's what people see. But the reality is the, the muscles you can't see, the back, the lats, and and uh, the rear shoulders, and, and every, all of the, the back muscles are actually much more important than the front because that's what stabilizes the spine and, and kind of like your, your skeletal structure in many ways. I'm not a genius in this stuff, but I do know enough that that's much more important than what you actually see in the front. And, uh, and our spiritual lives mirror that remarkably well. You know, if, you, if we say the front uh, in our spiritual lives would be related to what's seen in public, what other people see, and our back is what's private and what people don't see, what we do in the private place, in the secret place with God, is much more important to keeping us healthy and to grounding us and to, to providing a, a solid foundation in our spiritual life uh, than what's done in public. And the reason is, is because everything in private that we do with God is done with Him in mind. It's done with the focus being you and Him, and the focus is on uh, intimacy with Him. It's knowing Him for Him. Nobody's seeing that. It's not for anybody else. It's not because we want other people to see our good deeds or whatever. And, and not that we necessarily do those things for other people, but sometimes it can kind of start to creep in and, you know, um, it can kind of taint our actions, right? But when we're in the private place, that's, that's not the case. That's us and him, and we're pressing into him for that reason alone. And that's why I want to encourage you uh, to get into that place and seek his heart. Get to know him for him, not because of what he can do for you, but because of who he is. He's your father. He's a good father, and he loves you. And you get to do life with the God of the universe. Like, let that reality sink in. And so as you're, as you're going about your day, like, always keep in mind that that place, the private place, is going to set you up for anything that you do in the public place. All right? So uh, I hope that encourages you. And I just hope that you experience, like, deepening uh, intimacy with the Father uh, in 2021.